folks, um, this is a follow-up on our um, plates that we swab to get confluent growth. You might recall this is totally different goal. Um, when we swab plates to get confluent growth, we want the colonies, the, excuse me, the cells growing so closely together when they form colonies, all the colonies touch one another, they merge. So um, that's called confluent growth. Um, another way of thinking of it is we've almost like frosted the surface of the auger with bacterial colonies. And we're going to be using this technique when we do our disk diffusion studies. That will be in Chapter 14, Control of Microbial Growth. Um, so um, what we'll do is we're going to swab our plates with different types of bacteria. And then we're going to set little filter disks. Let me see if I do it like that. These little filter disks. Um, that have been soaked in different chemicals. So this is an antibiotic disc. This is um, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, the Bactrim. Um, so this is an example of um, how we run our Kirby Bauer antibiotic sensitivity tests. And what you'll notice, folks, is um, here, here's our bacteria growing. And then you'll notice this area, kind of a clear area around the um, antibiotic disc. That's called the zone of inhibition. And it's telling us that antibiotics have diffused into the auger, right? And that the antibiotics have been able to inhibit or kill the bacteria in that zone of inhibition. Okay. Now, an important concept is um, to know the concentration gradient of the antibiotic. So the auger right below the disc, that will have the highest concentration of antibiotic. And then as we move away from the disc, the concentration of antibiotic decreases. <clears throat> now that... <clears throat> the concentration of antibiotic um, in the auger um, at the border of this zone of inhibition, <clears throat> that concentration of antibiotic is called the minimal inhibitory concentration, the lowest um, concentration of antibiotic that can inhibit or kill the bacteria. So we're going to see when we, um, we do our um, chapter 14 um, PowerPoint with a voiceover, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the diameters of these zones of inhibition, and the diameter is the distance from one side of a circle, oops, to the opposite side. Can I show this? <laughs> um, so the diameter is the distance from one side of the circle to the opposite side of the circle through midpoint. So we're trying to measure the diameter of the zone of inhibition, and we, we're going to report it in um, millimeters. Okay, and then we're going to use um, disk diffusion. Um, interpretation table to tell us if we can achieve, safely achieve, the MIC for that antibiotic against that pathogen um, at therapeutic levels in our patients. So that'll be, we'll go into that in more detail in the Chapter 14 Kirby Bauer Antibiotic Sensitivity Test. But again, we swab the plate with a swab in three directions to get confluent growth, okay? And then we set our discs um, in Part 1 of Chapter 14. We'll be using discs soaked in different antiseptics and disinfectants to see which is most effective against different bacteria. And then Part 2, we'll be doing the Kirby Bauer Antibiotic Sensitivity Test.